Did President Donald Trump just save us from a nuclear holocaust? A shocking prophetic video of Trump from 1999 was just found, and he accurately predicts world events happening right now. How did Trump know almost 20 years ago what North Korea would do now? If Trump wasn't our president today, Kim Jong-un would have started a nuclear holocaust, something leftists can't deny. The 1999 interview with NBC's Meet the Press features Trump before his entry into political office, speaking with host Tim Russert. At the time, Trump argued that the United States must stop North Korea sooner rather than later. First, I negotiate. I would negotiate like crazy. And I'd make sure that we tried to get the best deal possible, Trump told Russert. Now, if that negotiation doesn't work, you better solve the problem now than solve it later, Tim. And you know it. And every politician knows it. And nobody wants to talk about it, Trump said. And we have a country out there, North Korea, which is sort of wacko, which is not a bunch of dummies, the real estate moguls said at the time. And they are going out, and they are developing nuclear weapons. And they're not doing it because they're having fun doing it. They're doing it for a reason. When pressed by Russert, who noted that former military officials at the time argued against preemptive strikes because they could devastate the Korean Peninsula, Trump said he did not mean the U. S should use nuclear weapons against North Korea. I'm not talking about us using nuclear weapons. I'm saying that they have areas where they're developing missiles, Trump said. We virtually tried to bribe them into stopping, and they're continuing to do what they're doing. And they're laughing at us. They think we're a bunch of dummies. I'm saying that we have to do something to stop. Trump continued, do you want to do it in five years, when they have warheads all over the place pointed at Washington D. C. and New York City, is that when you want to do it? You better do it now. And when they know you're serious, look I deal with lots of people, and when they know you're serious, they'll negotiate and it will never come to that. The world was shocked when Kim Jong-un blinked first and offered to meet with President Trump. Trump showed them our strength and told them that he would be forced to annihilate them if they continued to threaten our allies and launch rockets. Here's Donald Trump on North Korea in 1999, Americans were blown away by the video. President Trump is a genius. He uses the lying media like the tools they are. I'm so proud to be an American veteran. God bless all the brave men and women who serve our country. Trump is the greatest president in history. Far surpassed every hope we ever had in him. Yes, tweeted Angel Salim. Milt Harris tweeted, to all of the people out there that don't like Trump, understand this, the man has been globally aware for decades. He loves this country and has been ahead of politics for years. BTW, what is a politician anyway? What distinguishing trait do they have? The ability to light? How could Donald Trump predict North Korea would continue to be a menace for the next 20 years? How could he predict they would ask to negotiate? Because he understands murderous communist dictators. He is a student of history and knows every time the world capitulates and shows even a tiny bit of weakness, these murderous dictators will launch wars. In this case with North Korea, it was ramping up to be a nuclear holocaust. CNN reported, throughout the 2000s, Trump would identify North Korea as an area of concern. In January 2003, Trump said on Fox News North Korea may be a bigger problem than Iraq. Three years later, Trump told CNN that the US should get out of Iraq, especially with Iran and North Korea developing nuclear weapons. 
Now, the leftist losers are all proven wrong about Trump's tactics with North Korea. When Trump was calling Kim Jong-un rocket man in his speech at the United Nations, the mainstream media freaked out. Now, that the North Korean dictator agrees to meet, they pretend it's a huge risk and gamble that won't work. If Hillary Clinton or Barack Obama had whipped Kim Jong-un's butt and made him come from a place of weakness to seek a meeting, they would be celebrating it as the most historic foreign policy win in the last 50 years. North Korea is close to having nuclear weapons that could do real damage, they may have them now. If Donald Trump wasn't president, Kim Jong-un would still be launching rockets and threatening to annihilate the world, that's a fact. We can thank God that Trump is our president. The video proves that he knew North Korea was only emboldened by the leftist policies of appeasement.